and talking sports. It is Friday, February 4th, 2022. We got NHL tonight, the skills and all that stuff competition. We have some stuff on Brian Flores. Now, I read this on Brian Flores, and now he is calling out. And I was like, you know what? I need to read all this stuff because this is what he... This, he spent 11 years with the Pats, and he believes back-channel conversations and Bill Belichick's influence led him to not getting the Giants head coaching job. And I, I'm trying to understand how he thinks that Bill Belichick had something to do with the Giants organization when he's dealing with the Patriots. He was on the NPR's The Limits with Jay Williams podcast. He claimed the Patriots coach and the Giants are examples of corrupt hiring. I think there are back-channel conversations and back-channel meetings that are are had that oftentimes influence decisions. I think the Giants hiring process is a clear example of that. Bill Belichick is a clear example of that. His resume speaks to that. He said the Giants had made their decision to hire Brian Dable to replace Joe Judge before they even met him. It was clear to me that the decision was made with Belichick's influence, but he was with the Bills at this point. So I, I'm trying to understand that. That's part of the problem that needs to change. There needs to be a fair and equal opportunity to interview and showcase your abilities to lead and earn one of these positions. But they did meet with a bunch, I'm not trying to, um, but the Giants did meet with their defensive, with Patrick Graham, they met with Leslie Frazier, so they met with a bunch of minority coaches. I'm trying to understand where he's coming from on this front. The text messages from Bill Belichick confirmed a lot of things I believe were going on for blacks and minorities in the hiring process, interviews that blacks and minorities were going on where we weren't getting a true opportunity in these, those interviews to showcase our abilities. To walk into an interview where a decision is already made, that was the tipping point for me. That confirmation was something that I felt like I had to say something. He said a couple of days after they fired Judge, I got a call from John Maris saying he was very interested in bringing me in. They were going to make the GM hire first, but I was high on the list. I did a Zoom with them the next week. He said Belichick did not know he was publishing the text messages or filing the lawsuit. Flores had.